Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful day. How you guys and girls are doing? I hope you're doing great as always. Please check out the description box for all the nice links. Also drop a like, subscribe if you like the content. Check out the top right eye as well as the bottom description box uh, Patreon link if you're interested in that. Otherwise, keep watching the video. So today's video is going to be about just making sure the light class is complete and everything moves from the light class to or the light value that we have here light position zero that we move from this to the actual light class so we're going to do this in steps here the first step i want to do is just to make sure the shader is all right so we need to add a few things for point light now what are the things we have we have position intensity and color and the only thing we're using here is actually position from the light as well as our attenuation values the the constant the linear and the quadratic and those are the things we need to add now for our point light so let's go ahead and do that those are basic floats so i'm going to do a constant constant make sure you spell these correctly double check it constant okay uh, and then a float for linear float for quadratic quadratic again double check that the spelling is correct once this is done constant linear and quadratic i want you to create a point light here so I want you to just check how it works with the material if you've forgotten. So we have a struct material and then we use a uniform for the material and we'll be able to send in from C++ or from the engine to the shader a material object by setting its values. And that's exactly the same thing we're going to do with light. So on uniform uh, point light, again spell it correctly, point light. Let's just call it point light like that, with a big L, point light, point light, good. Once that is done, we'll leave it for now. The next step is to close down everything else that you don't really need right now. Uh, material, close down that, all this, okay, good. In the libs, before I forget, I'm going to include the light. So go into your libs.h and include your light.h. So we have this, okay? Remember, we have our point light here. Again, go back to your fragment shader, go to the point light part and copy these, these three values here. Sorry, my tongue is kind of hurting, so I can't really speak. But just copy those values and paste them into your point light. And again, remember what you have. You have your intensity, your color. Those are being set in the base class. And then you have your point light child class where you have constant linear and quadratic. We're going to give this some default values now. I'm going to set intensity to 1.f. I'm going to set color to a GLM VEC3 1.f. Remember that you can do this. If you set one value into a VEC3, all three values will be set to that value. Good. Now we're going to set our new values. Float constant constant equals one dot f that's going to be the default value float linear is going to have a default value of 0.045 f and then of course float quadratic the tongue twister here pretty sure that's why my tongue is hurting uh, 0.0075 f and that's a very good value i'd say and once that's done don't forget to set them here this constant constant this linear equals linear this quadratic equals quadratic good job guys good job you are all amazing because you have been able to do this so this is great and you have this set nothing else to do here now i want you to go to your send to shaders function and we're going to be adding a few things here i'm just going to control d or control c this 1f part and we're going to set this constant, we're going to send this constant to our point light thingy. I'm going to change this to point light with a big L. Don't forget to do that. Big L, okay? These names are very important because let me tell you how this works. Again, just a, just a reminder, this point light, why we're writing this here is, is because we created that in our shader. This uniform point light, that's what we're connecting this to. Okay? Remember that. This point light is that point light. 
We already sent the position intensity color. Now we're going to send the constant. And remember, again, in the struct, we added these three values, constant, linear, and quadratic. So I'm going to copy this constant just to make sure it is correct. Light constant. Yes. Control D. Uh, linear. Linear. Control D. Quadratic. Control C. Control V. Quadratic. Quadratic. Make sure the spelling is correct and you'll be good to go. So now we're sending in the three floats that we want. Our light class is now complete, our point light class. Uh, the next step is to change a few things. Now, this init lights is fine, but I want to create a void init point lights function here. Totally new one. And I'm going to control dot this so we can create it. Let's see when it runs. Never mind, leave that alone. Go to your init and your CPP file go to your init lights let's go to where that is in uniforms is fine we'll change those Init lights here we go so what are we doing we're basically adding a light position that's all we're doing but in here in your init lights i'm going to call this init point lights and i'm also going to create that function right there create actually we can control d that init point lights good and we can remove this pushback i'm going to remove that and i'm just gonna chill right here to go to the next step go back to your h file and you'll see you have a light vector this is not what we want anymore anymore we want to do a point light pointer vector like this and we'll call this point lights okay good the next step is to go back now to the new function you created in point light in it point lights and say this point lights dot pushback new point light at any position glm vec3 uh we'll just initialize that to zero dot f nothing special boom we have we're in it initializing our point lights once this is done you'll have one point light going and you'll see that our lights isn't going to work anymore and we'll get a bunch of red stuff so let's start from our init uniforms let's go ahead and initialize all our point lights to the shader so we'll do a for each loop and we'll say point light pointer pl in this point lights and just ignore that for now say this or PL send to shader and copy this point lights or this shader program boom and you're good to go now you don't have to do anything else you just have to dereference this because we're taking a reference in there and not a pointer copy this for each loop because we'll reuse it now now you can just ignore in it uniforms now we'll go to update uniforms and we'll see there's a little red thing here as well we just have to paste this over the light zero whatever we had here before so check that light position zero just paste that over there and you should be good to go like that good all your point lights will be initialized go down to the next red position here where we're deleting all the point lights do not forget we just need to change this to from point from lights to point lights point lights point lights good now the last red position thingy here is changing the position of that light. So that's very simple. I'm just going to do this point lights at position zero. Set position. Position to this camera. Good. And we'll create this function in our point lights right here so go ahead into your lights.h go to your point light create a new function here called void set position const glm vec3 position this position equals position that's simple and then next time we update our uniform 
that will be sent out. And now if you check in your game.cpp, this will soon become green or nothing at all actually. So there you go. Boom. Good to go. Now everything is done. Everything is pretty much done. The only thing we need to do is to change everything to this point light variable. And we're going to clean this up in the next video. For this video, all we have to do remaining here, the final steps is to send in, go to your main in your fragment core and see wherever you have light post zero. So just do a control F light post zero. And you'll see you have three places here with light post zero. Paste point light dot position here. Copy this, paste it in each of these and you're good to go. The final thing now is to change the attenuation variables. So point light dot constant on the one dot F there. The 0 0.045 will become point light dot linear. And this last value will be point light dot quadratic. Good. So you're all set and you're ready to go. If we run this now, hopefully everything will work as planned and we shouldn't have any errors here at all. Good. So you're seeing all your values as we move away. The attenuation is still working and everything is getting darker and you can see your light position moving. So now good thing is that we have our point light coming as an object basically into our shader and we can create several point light objects and that's what we're going to do in the coming videos but the next video is going to be about cleaning all this up and maybe beginning with that process so thank you so much for sticking with me thanks for watching check out the description box my patreon link down there as well also the top right eye drop a like subscribe and i'll see you in the next one right bye bye